guys, welcome to my 2020 beauty favourite. So let's just go ahead and start. So the first thing that I have been absolutely obsessed over in 2020 is this Pixi Glow Mist. I like to use this before I start my skin, like my makeup routine. And I also like to spray it after. So I find that it works really well, um, like in the way that Fix Plus sort of like just blends all your creams and your powders together. I find that this just works in like the same way, but leaves like such a gorgeous glow as well. The thing that I absolutely love is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I start, I would say like 95% of my makeup looks with this product. It's like a moisturiser but it is a primer as well and it just smells like, I get like such a lemony scent from it and it's just so fresh, it's very very spa like but it does just create such a gorgeous hydrated um like skin for foundation to go on which is like one of the most important things so this is just such a great base for your foundation so kind of like an oldie but a goodie is the Herborean Bamboo Matte Primer this one is great if you have oily skin um especially like on your t-zone area it has like a really cooling effect it's quite like a gel um, and I just love the fact that it keeps you really matte all day. Then another primer is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. It really reminds me of the Tatcha Silk Canvas. They honestly, I feel like they're the same. And it is just like a putty sort of primer. And it's very silicone based, so it is pore filling. If you want a pore filling primer that's actually going to work and grip makeup, then this one is really really good then i am going to move on to these wet and wild mega glows i use the shade golden goddess and halo gorgeous that is the more pinky tone one and this is the more sort of gold one these are insane it gives like this gorgeous like sheen to the skin it's not metally it doesn't look um like a metallic sort of base. So I would use this before foundation and it just gives like your foundation just like that extra boost, that extra glow. And the next sort of glowy base product that I've been loving is the Hollywood Flawless Filter. To use this like under makeup if I want like that extra glow or you can in fact use this as just like your base it does have this like filtering effect on the skin that you can just use this alone it's like just healthy skin in a bottle that is literally what this stuff is now foundations so ride or die with the nars natural radiant longwear foundations guys i am obsessed with these these are a full coverage but lightweight so they're really light on the skin you don't really feel it it's not that cakey texture okay this is what i've got on i've got these two mixed and it is just such a gorgeous full coverage flawless but really lightweight like i can't feel this at all on my skin so this is just beautiful so then the next foundation anastasia beverly hills this is the luminous foundation it's very very similar like you would almost think these were the same but they are slightly different i'd say this is sort of like medium buildable for me it's, it's very similar in the way that it is lightweight you don't feel it on the skin it's oh, it's just beautiful. This foundation literally stays put. It does not move. This definitely has been an absolute go-to for me. So there was a couple of concealers that I consider to be my absolute ride or dies. The first one being my NARS. This is a soft matte creamy concealer. It's such a flawless finish. It is a matte finish as well, which I quite like for like under the eyes. I really can't fault NARS base products at all, but definitely the NARS soft matte is probably like my absolute top, top favourite concealer. This one, you can't even read what it says on it, is by the brand Technic. It's a huge concealer. There's so much in it. It's a huge doe foot applicator as well. It's called the 3-in-1 Canvas contour and sculpt concealer this concealer is 
so good. You do need to work kind of quick with it because it sets, but I love that. It doesn't sheer out when you are blending it. It literally stays put and it stays put all day and it really doesn't crease on me either. Like I feel like this is just an absolute little gem. So my absolute top favourite blushers were the Pretty Fly blushers from Doll Beauty. Now the shades that I just fell in love with were Costa del Doll. This one is just like a matte sort of pinky peachy. It's not more one than the other. It's just a gorgeous matte blusher. This one here is Dolliday, which is a really sweetie sort of pink. This one has a bit of shimmer through it. So it's almost gives you like a nice little highlight as well with this one. Then this one is Viva La Veque. And this one is peachy tone and it has a shimmer through it as well. So these are both shimmer products. They are just such a gorgeous like highlight blush. Like that is just absolutely outstanding. This one's not as highlighted, but it is, it is highlighted. So then for bronzer that I absolutely love is Hula Caramel. This, the tone, the tone of this is gorgeous. It's literally caramel, it's warm, it's sun-kissed. It's just the bronziness that I want and need in my life. It's much warmer and a touch darker than the original Hula, which I love. It also works as a great transition colour or just an all over lid colour as well. So I use this for different things. Last bronzer that I absolutely love is the Doll Beauty, the Gimme Sun in the shade Medium. I love this bronzer. This is the bronzer that I have on today. And I just think it is beautiful. It is such a gorgeous bronzer, really easy to blend. And the packaging is 10 out of 10 for me as well. So for highlighter, so there's two that I have. One I don't have with me, um, so I'll just talk about it. It is the Doll Beauty, it's a Champagne Supernova Highlight Duo. They're very gold, which I absolutely love, and they are so blinding. The day I'm actually wearing the Doll Highlight in Pretty Little Glow, which is sort of a pinky gold um, base, and I just love it, but the Champagne Supernova is even more blinding than this one. So the other highlight that I want to talk about is one that I kept reaching for and I was so surprised when I did, but it is the Sleek. This is the Solstice Palette. And as you can see, this one over here got battered this year. Just prefer these two mixed together. They are blinding, they are beautiful. They are on a lot of my looks um, from over summer. So obsessed with this palette and it is really inexpensive as well, which I love. Okay, uh, setting powders. I kind of skipped over setting powders. So there was a standout star and this is the Laura Mercier. This is the Under Eye Secret Brightening Powder or the Brightening Secret Under... What? Ugh. And it is beautiful. I love this for underneath my eyes. I have this on today right in here. I just think it is super brightening. So finely milled as well. Really easy to use. I do mine with a beauty blender because I just find it's easier that way. Then the next powder that I absolutely love this year was the Laura Mercier. This is the Translucent Honey Powder. I I actually just haven't stopped using this one. I love the tone of it. It's a little bit warmer than just the original Translucent, as you can see there. It does just kind of give that warmer tone to your skin. Okay, so moving on to eyes and palettes. So the, probably the standout palette for me this year was this one. So the V Perfect Caramel XL Pro palette. So I bought this around about April in the lockdown because I was doing a lot of looks and I knew I wanted a really good palette. There's just so much colour to it, but then you've got your neutrals. Um, and as you can see, I have used this palette to death. Really easy to blend, just easy to work with. If you are looking for a palette and you like a bit of colour but you also like your neutrals, this is the one. Another palette that I'm absolutely obsessed with um, is the Be Perfect Clientele palette. Guys, I don't have that with me, but the Be Perfect Clientele palette is unreal. It's really good for your neutrals. It's a very easy palette. 
um, great to use. So the Karin Tao palette is also up there with my favourite palettes of this year. So this, I could not live without this this year. So I have this actually on in my waterline. So this is P. Louise and Mitchell Blanc Canvas Paint. This is what I cut all my creases with. I'm just totally hooked on it. It just makes cutting the crease so much easier. It just sets really well. It just creates like this flawless look to your eyes. You can go and have a look at any of my cut creases and it'll be this product. Lashes. So I'm going to talk about these ones that I've got on because these are the Doll Beauty Jasmine Lashes. I have found my lash. These are just unreal. They're a little bit spiky, but they're so full. They are more winged out at the ends and they just come right in on the inner corner. I'm obsessed. They are so comfortable and I am just loving these lashes. So definitely the Jasmine lashes need like a big like, woo, about them. Then lip products. So hands down, my favourite lip products are the Morphe Sweet Tea and Bark Liner. Guys, I'm really sorry. I meant to say bite me, not bark. It's bite me. <laughs> so sweet tea and bite me. So sweet tea is a little bit lighter. Bite me is a little bit darker. I have sweet tea on it just now, which I think is the perfect shade for me. If I'm wanting something a little bit more dramatic, I will go with bite me. But these are the cleaniest liners, most like least expensive. You get so much product. These I am obsessed with. Lipsticks. There's only going to be one and it is the Doll Beauty Lipstick in the shade FOMO. Guys, this is the perfect nude. This is what I have on just now. More it is just the creamiest, dreamiest nude that I have ever used. Finally, I'm going to talk about some brow products as well. So I think the hands down star of the show this year was the Got To Be Glued Gel. This gave me laminated brows without lamination. On a clean spoolie, just run it through your brows with no makeup on and just push your brows into place. Grab a wipe or a cotton bud with micellar water and wipe around the brow. You have to remove the excess of this but the effect and how it stays and how it holds is incredible. Then for filling in your brows, there's literally no other pomade that I love more than brow jam. So this is the brow jam. I use the shade Brown Sugar, which looks like this. I have it on right now. And I use this alongside the brow jam magic brush. Now it's really important that you get the two together because they're they're just they're just the dream they're the brow dream i have had this for years but it's not gone dry it's still like amazing it just works exactly how it should do so again one of these and you'll not you'll not run out so the final product is the urban decay all night Air setting spray this is again just a ride or die wearing masks and everything it moves your makeup but this stuff is so good so i absolutely douse myself in it and then i grab a fan I just do that, let it all dry in, and then that's you done. Now, moving on to the different, the other little sections. So for hair, so I have extensions in. I have four packs of tapes in, so the hair needs to be looked after. So one of the things I bought, and I only really got this recently, but the feel of my hair after I've used this, I absolutely love it. And it is the Beauty Works, is the Argan Serum Daily Treatment. I've actually just realised it says daily treatment and I'm only using this when I've washed it. So I might up the usage of this here. I just love how my hair feels after I have used this. So this is definitely a favourite. It's quite inexpensive as well and you do get a lot of product. Then the next hair item that I have is this Andrew Fitzsimmons Glam Styling Spray. This you can get at Primark. I absolutely love this for when I have styled my hair. What I like to do is I just sort of like spray upwards into my hair so it keeps a lot of like style just like adds some texture and this stuff works so good. Then the final hair product that I have that I absolutely love and cannot live without is this comb. 
Okay, so this comb was actually given to me by my hairdresser. So thank you, Jess. This has been the best thing ever. So this is a Denman, and it's a, I want to say it's a DC-11. I don't know if it just says DC-11, but it's just a really wide tooth comb. And it is great for like just separating your curls and just making them look really like PC. I don't know if that makes sense. That makes sense. Make it look all like sort of a bit more like beachy, a bit more tousled vibe. Then for tanning, I think this will come as absolutely no surprise to anyone. The U Tan is my favourite tanning brand. Cannot live without these facial sprays. So this is the CBD one, which was done with U Tan and Jamie Genevieve. This is the 50% darker. I just like to use the 50% darker because I am so pale. It just kind of accelerates the tanning for me. This is a very lavender scent. I'm not too keen on lavender, but the scent doesn't hang around for long. So I just absolutely love this and I just spray this all over. I've got some story highlights of me using this and it just gives me such a gorgeous glow. This will be no surprise either but the Gutan Turbo Mousse. So there's two scents of this. There's the cherry and then there's this one. So I finished my cherry one. So I have gone for the, I don't even know how to say that, but it's like Berg, Bergamot and Candula. I think that's it. But this one here is the like unisex sort of scent, but it does smell a little bit like Lynxy, it's a little bit like man, like nice smelling man. But this is definitely one that my other half, when I go to bed and I have this on, he's like, oh, you smell nice. So it's approved by other halves. <laughs> I just really love this. It's such a golden glow. I keep mine on overnight and wash it off in the morning because I want the deepest tan possible. I'm naturally super pale, so this is the only way that I can achieve sort of any sort of sun-kissed like glow. Now we're gonna move on to some skincare. So I have like a tailored skincare um, like routine and I that was tailored by 70 Lemons. This is what I have been given, okay? So I had to fill out a form and I put in my skin worries, my skin woes, and stuff like that, what I wanted to achieve. And this is the trio. It's all by Lumiere. It's the Purifying Gel Cleanser, followed by Bright and Clear Solution, followed by the Hydra Light um, Moisturizer. I use these three morning and night, and I can honestly say that my skin has improved massively. It is so much cleaner, much less texture as well. It's just less dry. It's just completely less dry. So um, I don't recommend that you run out and try and get these. I recommend that you go to 7-Elevens. So along with the Illumiere stuff, I use my face halo. Guys, I'm obsessed with face halos. I have like nine of these and they are all well loved, well used. The, I just use like my cleanser and then use this to remove all my cleanser and all my makeup. And honestly, like it is just like my skin is like squeaky clean. Like I've never felt my skin that clean before. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about jewellery. So my necklaces, which I get asked all the time where these are from. So this, these are from Lavish Lux Jewellery. So this is actually a local brand. I know the girl that owns it, so shout out to Ailey. I've had these on every day, showered with them, spray perfume on them, like I've probably got big tan on them and they have stayed so nice. These are just my everyday necklaces now. I also have this little Cuban link bracelet is from Heart as well. Um, this is just absolutely gorgeous. I kind of like the clasp on it too. Um, and it's just all like encrusted and I just think it is like so cool. I love this so, so much. This one here and this one here is also from her, from Lavish Lux. Um, they were super easy to put in. I just love them. As you can tell, I like, I like jewelry, I like ear piercings and things like that. So these earrings are from another actual local brand. Um, they're shop Rebel Rebel on Instagram, but these are just my favorite little hoops ever three gold hoops and I you can I've worn these so many times 
in my Instagram post, but I just think that they are so glam, so fab. I just love these because they're super chunky and I think I just really like the chunky gold sort of style. The rings and things are all from sort of like different areas. So um, there's some Topshop, there's some Boohoo Moon, there's some Indigo Loon. Like these are all just from all different places. I've got the little nail one there. This one is my favourite. So this is like my favourite combination to wear. So I don't have my nails done by the way, but lockdown and all that sort of fun stuff. But the this is my favourite combination. I'm obsessed with this got like so many more as well. Also have some jewellery from the M Jewellers as well. I got these little rings when I was in New York. Yeah, so like those as well from the M Jewellers. I just like anything really that's gold. Um, I used to be a silver person and now I never wear silver. I find it was quite cold on my skin. I feel like gold just warmed up my skin tone. I also have this little one here. This was a Maria Tash, so it cost me an absolute fucking arm and a leg, but it was completely worth it. So I love this one. This one was actually originally this piercing. I moved it down to there because it was just a little too tiny. Do you know what I mean? I just felt like it was getting a bit lost and I wanted something bigger. Then I'm going to just move on to my favourite perfume. This is from Zara. Now, Zara perfumes are unreal, but this was like, it's called the Zara Emotions, and they are made by Jo Malone. Now, Wood Sage and Sea Salt from Jo Malone is my favourite perfume of all time. And when I saw this, and it's called Ebony Wood by Jo Malone, I was like, hmm, I really need to try this. It's like this, so already you're kind of like, looks like Jo Malone. That is the Jo Malone one. So there's already like a vibe, you know? Close, yet far, but so close. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's just amazing. As in every day, something to really just like spray yourself with and just feel like you're wearing a Jo Malone. This is perfect. Okay, last but not least, this has gone on for so long, but there's just so many things that I really like. Okay, so the last little section is sort of like a home section, I guess, but it's just two candles. So this one is the first little candle. It's a little cherub. I thought this was so cute. I got this off of Etsy, but the brand is here on Instagram, so don't worry, like I'll tag them. It was like way too cute to actually burn, so I will not be burning it. And this will just sit proudly on my desk. I got this when I had my little cherub nails. I just got really obsessed and I was like, it doesn't have any scent. It looks really, really pretty. And it's just, I feel like this is really impressive for a candle. Like, I mean, it has like a total face and everything. Is this impressive for a candle? I just feel like it is. I mean, that actually looks like feathers. So then my second candle is also just a bit of like a vibe candle as well is this lovely little lady here. This one is from Oh So Succulent Melts. you will probably like seen these everywhere, but I just think that they are so cute. I'm actually going to get these in like the other colours as well. I kind of want the full collection. Just got a little peachy bum. It is just, again, a candle just to sit and look really, really pretty and not be burnt. And um, yeah, so I think I'm going to get her other friends as well. So guys, that was all like my favourite items of 2020. I really hope you enjoyed this and I will be just uploading tutorials as normal. But this was just like a little bonus video that was my 2020 favourites. So thank you so much. I can't wait to see what 2021 has in store and I'll see you in another one. Bye! <laughs>